Hello and welcome back once again to Viking Whiskey. Today um, it's another Highland Park. Um, yesterday I tasted uh, the new Cast Strength uh, Edition, Robust and Intense, and I wasn't very happy about that one, so I thought why not today give it a go with another Highland Park Cast Strength, um, though a limited bottling, the Orkney Rowing Club. Um, 4,000 bottles put out. Um, still quite a few. Um, and another no age statement. Um, bottle at 58%. Um, let's see how that goes. Details are on the screen right here. All right. Let's see. Uh, Dark amber. Hmm. Well, so, so far off, this is <laughs> much more classic Highland Park nose. And we note that there is no sulfur. Mm, yummy. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this is, you have a little bit of brine. You have very light notes of smoke, and you have some heather notes, like some fresh hay. Um, there's a bit of toffee. Uh, now this is uh, this is uh, classic Highland Park. I do sense some very. I mean, I, I think uh, on the notes it said that this was uh, first filled uh, ex bourbon casks. Um, I don't think only because uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm picking up some cherry notes here. Um, do have some light uh, dry fruits, so I'd be surprised if it was only bourbon. Also have that very light furniture polish. So yeah, I'm pretty sure there must be some sherry in there. Also got a nice dash of some dried herbs. All in all, a very nice classical nose. Mm. Good start. Let's see how it tastes. All right, first off, <clears throat> on the onset, the alcohol scared me a little bit because it also felt very aggressive. But during the first chew, it really came down. And obviously at 58%, it's still very warm and you do have some, some of those black pepper notes. <clears throat> but um, it, it immediately just changed over into this um, warm and somewhat sweet but not overly sweet and also a bit more smoky expression than i had uh, had expected but but you uh, you have here on the onset this peppery warmth a, a very good dose of uh, of cane sugar sweetness um with a very little bit of sweet carrots in there and then some wonderfully sweet Heathery smoke. Um, good start. Mm. As you let it sit for a little bit, some of these slightly bitter notes of, of uh, freshly cut grass start to come out, uh, which some like, I do, and some don't. Just a bit uh, of uh, sawdust, freshly sanded wood here in the nose now. Mm.
already here in the second chew, the texture is, is getting really fat and, and oily. It's, it's a wonderful texture, great mouthfeel. Um, mm. The sweetness is still still going strong, but it's, it's really the right the right level to balance out the powerful alcohol and the smoky notes. Um, and um, now we're also getting notes of uh, roasted ch chestnuts, um, slightly burnt caramel, um, some uh, pickled ginger, um, and a, a, bit, a bit of mint as well. I'm, I'm getting this fly again today. I don't, I don't know what's wrong. It's nowhere to be found anywhere in the house until I sit down and start press record and it's all around me. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah. So um, mm, some very nice notes coming on here. Definitely. Um, mm. On the third chew, smoke becomes a bit more present, sweetness comes down a little bit, becomes a bit more dry in the mouth, more wood spices, getting a little bit of cloves and nutmeg here now, um, along with more of this uh, pickled ginger. Um, mm, some oaky notes as well. And also some of this dry hay as well. Mm. It, it's really um, surprisingly good um, for a no age statement. Mm. I have to say this is, uh, this is good stuff. I do understand if people would like to add a few drops of water. As you know, I don't I, I, I never add water when I do the reviews, um, but um, it's definitely enjoyable and drinkable without adding water, but I could see why people would, would want to add some. Um, on the finish, sweetness has come down very nicely. Um, you now have this sort of... Um, mm, it's almost like an unsweetened sponge cake and uh, some uh, good dose of smoke, very light um, roasted bananas, mm. and a bit of dried herbs and still a little bit of this minty ginger thing. Uh, lingering. Um, a very nice long finish. Mm. I have to say I'm, I'm really uh, <laughs> positively surprised by this one and looking at uh, the price level I think the price is pretty much the same as, as the uh, robust and intense that I tasted yesterday and um, they're, they're worlds apart. <laughs> I would happily buy this one. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Given this long time in the finish, it does start to become a little bit light and slightly watery, but that's to be expected in, in such a young and no age statement whiskey. Um, so, still not bad. Um, to rate it, the nose. Classic Highland Park, great. I mean, I wish this was their core expression. That would be, that would be something because it is. Um, so uh, this nose is an 88. Taste-wise, 
It's a bit more challenging. It's still great, still interesting, great balance. Uh, it's an 87. Finish. Um, it's very good for this whiskey. Um, but, but it also shows that it is a younger expression. Um, and uh, we end up on an 85. Still puts us on an average of 87, which is very good compared to the one I tasted yesterday. <laughs> definitely, uh, Orkney Rowing Club definitely wins that battle. All right, thanks so much for uh, checking in. I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope to see you on the next one as always. And if you would like to, drop me a line, comment, question, suggestion, anything. Don't get many of those. Um, otherwise, cheers.